Hi, I'm going to show you in this video how you can adjust the margins and padding uh, using the full site editing features in WordPress. So here I am using the 2022 theme and I'm on the sample page. So we're going to start right here. So I'm going to click edit page. And if you've ever played around with the padding or the margins in WordPress using the block editor, you might have experienced some limitations. Imagine I wanted to put some padding between uh, this block and this one. I might have done something in the past where I would insert a spacer of some sort and you know maybe make a change like make it 50 pixels and then duplicate it and then update and say okay there we go got some space but that seems a little little more complicated than it than it should be especially what if I've got something like this where I've got a paragraph but I want to make the background color, let's check this uh, peach color here. But what do I do if I want to make, uh, if I want to adjust the padding here, what do I do? And off the bat, it looks like there's not a whole lot of options. I, I, I can't really do much more with the color. Uh, typography that doesn't look like it has anything to do with it so what do I do here there's a way to adjust it using the group block so the first uh, first thing I need to do here is I'm going to go back to the color and reset it back to what it was before and then I'm gonna get rid of these uh, spacers All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this paragraph and if I click here where it says paragraph change box type or style, I can change it to a group. Now it doesn't actually change the block into a group. What it does is if I open up the list view, what it's done is that it's placed it inside of a group. And by placing it inside of a group, I now have these new options over here where I can control the size of the content and I can also control the padding. So let's do what I tried to do before where I wanted to change the background to peach. This time, instead of changing the background on the paragraph block, I'm changing it on the group block. Now, right away, that looks kind of what I was seeing before, maybe slightly different. I'm going to hide this list view. Um, one thing I noticed right away is that it seems like there's more, more padding on the left and right than top and bottom. Okay, let's take a look at what happens if we change the dimensions. So I'm going to go down here to padding and notice how it's got pixels. I could actually change this measurement. I could change it to the viewer height, viewer width, the M's or REM's or percentages. Let's just leave it for pixels right now. That makes it real easy to understand. Let's type in 10 pixels. So now the padding is 10 pixels around and I could change that if I wanted to I could change it to 50 pixels so I could have something with real wide padding and then make another block and let's change the color a little bit change it to yellow and I'll make this one 25 pixels but that's not the only um, the only thing that I can do I can also let me duplicate this oops all right what I did there was 
I didn't duplicate the group. I actually duplicated the paragraph. So let me undo that. Make sure I've selected the group. I can tell that I've selected the group when I see the, the icon. If I click inside, um, even though I see the group icon there, this is actually what I have selected. So I'm going to select the group. Click duplicate. And let's make this one like crazy. We'll make it orange with some white text. There we go. And let's make this 100 pixels. But suppose I want to change the padding around it. Well, I got, uh, you know, I, I don't, I want like less padding on the top or on the left or something. All I got to do is click this button that says unlink sides. And now I'll be able to adjust each of these individually. So what I could do is I could do something like put in 10% and I'm just throwing out like a bunch of random things here. This is probably going to look awful, but you at least get the point. So now I've got, there we go, uh, add a little bit more. There we go. Now let's take a look at what this option down here does, this block spacing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to link the sides again and put in 10%. Actually, let's just start, start over. Let's go to this paragraph down here, change it into a group. And then for fun, let's duplicate the paragraph, select the group, change the background. This time we'll pick something like light blue. And now let's see what happens when we make a change to the block spacing. So what it's doing is that it's affecting the spaces between the blocks here. So what I could do is I could have a block that, let's say we have fixy pixel padding, but I want the blocks inside to be separated by 25 pixels. And then just to give it a little more emphasis, I'm going to go to these paragraphs and actually change the background of them. So you can kind of see it a little bit better. So here you've got an example of there's 50 pixels of padding around around the blocks that these uh, cont these uh, paragraph blocks but these blocks themselves are 25 pixels apart now if I wanted to do something crazy I could I could actually put in a negative amount see if that does anything yeah and actually it does what's happening is that it's it's overlapping but because you've got the uh, background color you, you can't really see that so anyway that is how dimensions works it allows you to adjust the padding whether you want it to be uh, all around the the same size or if you want to change it like to something different um, you can do that 
and it also allows you to adjust the spacing between individual blocks.